six decades on, the sound of the bells of Westminster Abbey still ring out around this area and there are several thousand loyal subjects have been waiting for this event. Let's have a quick chat to some of the, the British faithful. I think she's absolutely fantastic. I mean, I think she has been marvellous. And I think it will be very strange. Well, she's been our queen all our lives, yes, really. She has, exactly. So I think when she sadly dies, it will be, it will be different. Yes, and, it will be different. And she said she committed herself to the nation, and she's she done that a hundred times. Yes, and I think she's been yeah. wonderful. Um, for me, it's about marking 60 years of the queen serving the country, and all the effort she's put in to make everyone feel proud to be British with the advent of the English Defence League and British National Party it's nice to be able to wear a Union Jack without people feeling as though you're a racist. I found it very emotional actually. The last time I saw her she was a princess and I was about eight and she came to visit Brighton which is where we're from. Yeah and it's great, it's really emotional. But it wasn't just a British affair of course, uh, she is our Queen too and there was more than a sprinkling of Australians here to wish her well. Well, she's a great queen. We love her so much. But just, um, just to see the, mo the monarchists here in, in, in Britain, how would that be in Australia? <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Did you get a, get a good look at them? No, not at all. <laughs> not much. We were about ten back. <laughs> but never mind, it was just the atmosphere. Well, I would never have been forgiven by my girlfriends if I hadn't come, but I have to say it's a thrill. I am a bit of a royalist. <laughs> and you, did you see her going past? Yes. Yes, I've got Beatrice, Camilla, Kate and the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh. Did they give you a bit of a wave? Oh, certainly. They picked me out, definitely. <laughs> 60 years ago, a very different affair. Two million people lining the streets. And of course, the streets were closed. They certainly didn't allow buses right past as the Queen was here. So it's very much more relaxed affair. Uh, but for her, it's really marks an extraordinary achievement. Six decades of dedicated service on the throne. When we look back, that shy young woman accepting that heavy responsibility and here we are, 60 years on and still she's working at a great pace, hardly changed at all. Her Majesty knelt at the beginning of a path of demanding devotion and utter self-sacrifice, a path she did not choose, yet to which she was called by God. Today we celebrate 60 years since that moment, 60 years of commitment. Back in 1953, there was something of a revolution. This new thing called television meant that millions around the country and beyond could see this spectacular event that had never been seen before. An event, of course, with a thousand year history because the kings and queens have been crowned here since 1066. Fast forward six decades and here she is again circa 2013. Now she was surrounded by her family, there were 2,000 guests inside. Last time of course 8,000 for the real ceremony, uh, but this time a, a more modest affair. But I guess what you could say is that while the crowds aren't here in spectacular numbers, she is still well loved within this country and far beyond.